Good morning students. So today we'll be starting continuing the exercise which we have left last time. Okay, so last time we have finished till Roman number 3, isn't it? For your test up to Roman number 3, exercise 5.2. So today we'll start with Roman number 4. Okay, so if you see question number 4, uh, what, which, uh, what part of a revolution have you turned if you stand facing east and turn clockwise to face north? Okay. So we have to tell what part of a revolution. So first we know how many directions we have in the first uh, explanation. I've already told you north, south, east and west. Okay. So the total revolution, how much we are having? One, two, three and four. Four directions we are having. Okay. So the total will always be four. Isn't it? Four directions. That means four. So what is the question saying? See, so, uh, number A, we are standing in east. We are standing in east. We are here. And then we are turning clockwise to face north. We have to reach here to face north. Clockwise, we have already known which direction it will go. This direction. Isn't it? So to face north, how many times do we need to turn? This is the first one, second and the third one. Then we reach here in the north direction. So we can say that our total revolution is 3 by 4 is your answer. Okay. Since we are in the east, uh, let me explain you one more time. We are standing here and the question is saying, how many part, yeah, sorry, question is saying we are standing east and turn clockwise. In the clockwise direction, we have to go and to face north. Okay. So how many, which part of the revolution we, we will be doing? So see, we are standing in the east, then we are going one, two, three. Out of the total four, we are turning four times to reach north direction that is why our direction is three by four this is a let me try c okay for you c is c again which part of the revolution again you have to see let's north south east and west this direction is always same okay it cannot change so we are again having total how many direction four direction we are having total one two three four total four directions we are having okay total four directions now we are standing in the west see the question number c we are standing in the west and turn clockwise to reach east so we have to turn clockwise to reach east that means this is the first one where is east here so only two times we have to make a revolution so first is here second is here and the total is four so out of the four we are turning two times one two two by four is our answer can we <coughs> cancel them out can we make a shorter expression Yes, 2, 1 is 2, 2, 2 is 4. Okay, so 1 by 2 is your expression. 2 by 4 is also correct, but we can make it still in what? We can say in the reduced form, okay? So 1 by 2 is the answer. Now let's go number 5. Number 5, if you read the question, See what is the question saying? From the number, find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it goes from 3 to 6. Since in the previous lecture I have already told you how many right angles, how do we see, how to get the right angles, isn't it? I have already teach you. Uh, so here we will make a clock. So we know that 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 and 11 so we need a we have just made a wall clock okay now see what is question saying number a when we go from 3 to 6 we are going from 3 to 6 so 3 to 6 how many right angle do you see here only one right angle isn't it we are going from 3 to 6 so we are making only one right angle so we, the answer will be one right angle very easy isn't it for a right angle to see you have to see that it is making perpendicular or not okay or you can count it one two three the gap should be three from the uh, direction we are making or if you count from three one two three four there should be four to make one right angle okay the difference suppose we say from six to one two three four six to nine will be one right angle like that you can count okay four and the difference should be four from that Number B we will try. 2 to 8. 
Okay, I'll make as quick as possible. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11. Okay, now we are going from 2 to 8. That means we are going from 2 to 2 to 8. We are going from 2 to 8. Okay, now see how many right angles will it form. I've already told you uh, from the original direction. Uh, original means from where we are starting. We count up to 4 will be the first. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here will be the first right angle okay and then what the other one let's count from here we are here now so one two three four this is one more so we have two right angles here in this uh, exercise sorry this sub number we are having two right angles okay the important term is what you have to know is the difference is the uh, sorry the difference between each should be four suppose we are starting from two then when you count, count from 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the first right angle. Again, we are now in 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the second. If suppose we are having third uh, third right angle, then how will it start? Suppose we are in 8, that means where, it, where will be our hand clock again? 1, 2, 3, 4. On, in the 11, we are going to have our third right angle. Okay, in that way also you can remember as easy as that. I'll do one more. And I hope you will be able to understand. Okay. Which one do you want to know? Let's do number C. Okay. 5 to 11. Mm. We are having wall clock. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, number C, we are having 5 to 11. We are here 5 and we have to go up to 11. Okay. So, suppose we are here, isn't it? We are here now count up to four one sorry from five will count isn't it from where we are standing we'll count from there five one two three four that means this is what this is our first right angle we have first right angle now from we are now with eight so we'll count from eight one two three four so we are now in eleven that means how many right angles we are having two right angles for c also we are having two right angles as easy as this okay Try the remaining ones, D, E, and F, okay? Very easy. You just have to know from where we are starting, we'll go up to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, from here we are here. So, from 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So, two right angles. Easy? Okay. What is the next? Number 6. Number 6. Number 6 is also quite similar, okay? We have to tell how many right angles we are making. Uh, so, if you see the question, the first one. How many right angles do you make if you start facing from south? So let's make our direction, four direction, north, south, east and west. Okay, so so where are we standing now? South. The question is saying we are at south and it is saying south and turn clockwise to west. Clockwise means which direction? This direction obviously clockwise means this direction. So we have to go in this direction. So, question is saying south and turn clockwise to east. That means we are here and we have to turn clockwise to reach west. So, when we reach a west, we found that we are only having one right angle. So, your answer is, isn't it? South to west is what? One right angle. So, you can write one right angle is the answer. Okay. Suppose we have to go from south to north. Then how many? One. This is the first. This is the second. Two right angles. Like that you have to found. Okay. Let's do number B is important. See, we have never done anti-clockwise. Okay, so this is the first anti-clockwise question. We are here north, south, east and west. Remember, the directions will never change. So now we have drawn this. And now we have to see what is the question saying B. We are at north. We are at north and then turn anti-clockwise to reach east. Anti-clockwise means this direction, not this direction. Okay, anti-clockwise means the opposite of the hand clock so we'll go from here like this in this direction we have to reach east so how many right and right angles will we make one this will be the first one we'll reach here this will be the second one we'll reach here and this is finally the third one our destination so how many right angles do we make three right angles isn't it three times we turn anti-clockwise three right angles simple as that okay try the remaining one hmm Okay, number seven, the last one for this exercise. Mm, okay, sorry. Number seven. 
okay so number seven the last one okay where will the hour hand of a clock stop if it starts from six and then turn one right angle see the hour clock means we already know how to draw a clock isn't it one many times we have drawn so if you draw like this it will be easier for you seven eight nine ten eleven so in this way now the question is saying we are at at six we are already at six okay and then we are having one right angle one right angle means suppose we are here we are at six isn't it so from here count up to four one two three four this is our first right angle isn't it so the question is saying only one right angle so when we go from six and make one right angle we are at nine so what will you say it will be at nine it will be at nine the uh, the hand clock will stop at nine okay number a now let's see number b okay we'll make the hand clock 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so now what is the question saying from 8 we are at 8 okay we are at 8 so this is our first we can count here 8 and turn two right angles so this is the first one now we have to make two right angles okay let's go two right angle one two three four this is our first right angle and again we have to start from here one two three four so where will we reach we will reach this is our two right angle this is the first one and this is the second one so this is two right angles means where will we stop at two okay as simple as that where we wherever we <coughs> wherever the question tell you to start like uh, in roman number b it is telling you to start at eight isn't it see the question and it's telling you to start at b so you will count from there one two three four this is our whenever four reaches it is our first right angle so this is the first one now from 11 again you will start one one two three four this two we have reached at two when we count up to four so this is our second right angle that is why our answer is two okay try c and d yourself very easy your homework will be wait homework i want to give you in the next exercise wait okay we'll solve one more exercise very short one Mm. okay exercise 5.3 here i will give you match the following answer exercise 5.3 okay exercise 5.3 roman number one answer is c this is match the following okay roman number two answer is d match the following roman number three answer is a roman number four answer is e Roman number four, four, five. The last one reflex is mm, D. Okay, so this is your answer for match the following. Okay, and then uh, what you have to do is in number two you have to write. That is why in this exercise I want to give you what assignment. Okay, so number two, Roman number one will be A. Sorry, A. It is A. The first one is acute, acute angle okay you'll copy down if you want in this exercise uh, in this exercise you can do in your textbook okay no need to do in your notebook uh, for exercise 5.2 you can do it in your textbook only roman number b answer is obtuse obtuse roman number three answer is right angle right angle roman number d is reflex roman number e is straight angle angle roman number f is acute angle okay so uh, what is your assignment is to write all the definitions of this in an a4 size paper to write all the definitions of this in an a4 size paper and submit it okay before today is 20 okay i'll give you up to 27th of this 27th november okay last date submit it to your concerned teachers okay all these definition what is obtuse angle uh, sorry acute angle what is obtuse angle what is right angle what is reflex angle okay what is straight angle and what is acute angle? and non acute because already there acute is already there mm. so this is it okay this is your activity thank you and all the best do your activity and submit it on time okay bye bye